The people who worshipped with Hardeep Singh Nijjar had been shouting accusations India was responsible for his death for months now. The Prime Minister's announcement didn't spark celebration here. Until we actually see people behind bars, until we see actually people that were, you know, supplying, uh, you know, money for this hit, carrying this out, uh, I think it's kind of like skepticism right now that as if something's actually going to happen. Canada knew that this was all happening and didn't intervene as per their fiduciary duty. It takes our leader to be killed for a morsel of, of acknowledgement. The man India labeled a terrorist was known at his Gurdwara as an activist, leading the fight for a free Sikh state. Niger's death, the latest violent chapter in the long-standing and divisive fight for Khalistan, a fight this former B.C. Premier says Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has picked a side in. There's a perception that Mr. Trudeau has been politically in bed with the Khalistani element for his own political reasons. <laughs> Not the violent elements, but the separatist elements. And there was praise for the prime minister. Finally, somebody they stand with six, right? Like, and we appreciate like the way what he did, right? What he said, right? Current Premier David Eby says he was deeply disturbed and angered, adding Canadians across the country must be safe from the interference of foreign governments, including being targeted for threats or physical harm, including murder. These activists say Niger's death sparked fear. It was just a deep scarring moment, I think, for the Sikh community in Canada, uh, and also for the generation of activists that's still coming, that the reality of what we're speaking out about uh, may lead to our death, even in this country. Sikh separatists say Canada's move today will intensify, give energy to their global fight, one that is expected to continue with rallies and town halls here in British Columbia later this month. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Surrey.